This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of SketchUp, a 3D Toolbox. I'm Cameron Harris, and this is episode number 11. Continuing with our series on the basic tools of SketchUp, we're going to talk about what I think is really one of the most useful tools in SketchUp, the tape measure tool. Now, it is how you measure objects in SketchUp, figuring out how long things are, as well as it allows you to draw guides that really help you modeling. Let me show you how. So this is the project that I'm going to be using to demonstrate the uh, tape measure tool. If you want to follow along, you can just go to our website, which is www.howardpodcast.com, look for the SketchUp a 3D Toolbox show notes, and in the show notes for this episode, I'll have uh, this lesson file available for download, so you can kind of follow along if you want to. Or you can just, um, just skip that part and just uh, kind of wing it a little bit. Uh, so as you can see here, this is just kind of a pretty basic pad uh, with this one column uh, it protruding out of the top of it. And uh, this is really great for demonstrating the tape measure tool because it's pretty self-explanatory really. The tape measure tool is used to measure things. Now this could be if you open up a model from someone else and you're not sure um, what the scaling of it is or what the size of something is because you yourself didn't model it. Or, I mean, you can't keep track of all these dimensions that you type in. If it's a complex model, it's very easy to forget how big something is. So, particularly if you're modeling, say, an actual room, uh, I personally have used uh, SketchUp a lot to uh, create SketchUp models of a room that I'm redoing, and then be able to like you know move furniture around, try different paint colors. I use it for that all the time, and if that's the case, it's very nice to see how okay how wide is that doorway or how long is that wall. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing you need to know, obviously, is where the tape measure tool is. And uh, it's right up here in your toolbar. Just look for this little tape measure icon. If you hover your mouse over it, it'll say tape measure. So you can click on it there. Or uh, you can also find it over here in the uh, tool palette. Just look down through here. It's somewhere right in the middle, right around there. Same icon. Or, you, as you know, I love keyboard shortcuts. And the keyboard shortcut for the tape measure tool is the letter T. Just tap the letter T, snaps you right into the tape measure tool, which is very, very handy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure something. So let's say we want to figure out how wide this column is. Just by looking at it, we can tell that it's pretty much a square, probably exactly a square. So we just need to know what this one side of it is. And to do that, it actually works quite similarly to a tape measure in the real world. With a tape measure in the real world, you position the tape measure at one point, then you position the other end of the tape measure at the other point, and you are then told how long the distance is between those two points. And it works the same way in SketchUp. So the first thing you do is you need to figure out what you want to measure. So in this case, we want to measure these two points here, this one here and this one here. And you can see the uh, little the little green dot actually snaps to it. It also snaps just to edges or center points if you want. Just like everything else in SketchUp, it's always snapping to something. So now all we have to do is just click once on the point where we want to start the measurement. Click once, and then you can see we now have this little line that stretches out to wherever our cursor is. And then we don't have to click again. We can just hover the tape measure over that little corner and as always, you can see it actually gives us a little bit of a pop-up, but it doesn't always do that and it goes away pretty quickly. So what I like to do is I like to just use the dimensions box, which if you've been following around in our previous episodes, you know that the dimensions box takes many forms. And at the moment, that little box down in the bottom right hand corner now says length one foot. And you can see that if I move the pointer around, that length is constantly changing. And this is really the best way to look uh, at um, the, the dimensions that you're getting from the tape measure tool because you get very, very accurate measurements. Like that one right there, it says that from that one point to the point where I'm hovering right now, it's one foot, four inches, and three eighths of an inch. So it gets very, very detailed. Uh, SketchUp actually can go down to, I believe, one sixteenth of an inch. But uh, 
Now to get out of the tape measure tool, all you have to do is hit the escape key. And then it gets you out of the uh, tape measure tool and you can measure something else. So here's what I want to do. I want to see, I know that this is now a one foot square column. Uh, let's see how tall this column is. So then I can just click at a point down at the bottom here. And actually, I'll show you, it doesn't need to be a corner. It'll actually snap anywhere along this line right here. If I zoom in here, let's say I just go here. It's height, so it doesn't really matter where I go. And you can see this is looking slightly different now. For one thing, you notice that it, as with every other tool, snaps to the axis. You can see that it's a blue line. And I actually can't move my cursor to make it go anywhere else. It is smart enough to know that I must want to scale up this wall and find a point directly on this wall. Or I could also, of course, you know, go out this way or out that way with it. But uh, I want to go up this wall, snapping to the blue axis, which is the vertical axis. And then all I have to do is just hover to a point somewhere on this top line up here. Let me zoom in on that a little bit so you can see. Just somewhere on that point up there. And you can see that the length, whoops, you can see the length is four feet. So that's a four foot tall column. Press the escape T to get out of that. Now let's say I want to figure out where exactly the column is uh, on this pad here. Say I want to figure out the distance between this edge and that edge and this edge and that edge because I want to have this column on all four corners here but in the exact same uh, location, the same distance from each edge. So I want this to be right here, here, and here. But I'm not sure how far away it is from each edge. Well the tape measure tool is much more than just a tape measure tool. Think about this. You use a tape measure not only just to figure out how long things are, but also to use them as guides. If you're, for example, building something with wood, actual physical objects rather than just 3D pixels on a screen, you will use a tape measure and a pencil to mark guides for yourself. And the tape measure in SketchUp is no different. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say we wanted to draw a guide line between uh, actually, just, just right along here, right along where that edge of that column is. Just draw it all the way across here so that we can use that guide over here on this corner to make our next column. So what I do there is for, to, to make a guide uh, in SketchUp using the tape measure tool, you have to start from an edge. right? So if you start from a corner, it doesn't always work. And if you start from you know, just somewhere on a plane, for example, it rarely, it never works. It, all you'll get if you click, you, you don't get anything. So it's best to start on an edge. It can be either at a center point, like that, or it can be just from somewhere on a line. Just click once, and then you'll notice it snaps to the red axis, which is very nice. It, it snaps right across, so it's actually going out like that. Uh, if I wanted to snap it somewhere else, I could, of course, use the arrow keys, use the up key, for example, and snap it so that it's going up vertically, or use the left arrow key and have it go along the green axis. Uh, but the red axis is really what I'm after, so I'll just leave it at that. Uh, and now what I need to do is I just need to hover my tape measure over either this line right here, or I can even just hover over the face of this thing, and it's smart enough to do that you'll find that you rarely need to get very detailed with where you position your cursor with the tape measure tool or the move tool or the push pull tool for this kind of snapping thing oftentimes just getting on the face uh, of whatever it is you want to snap to is enough and then you notice that there's this kind of ghostly dotted line that this tape measure tool has created right at that point where the, the measurement stops and you notice the length that uh, still says one foot so it's one foot from the edge and if I click now, the dotted line becomes solid. And you'll notice that it is now stretching all the way across the pad. And what's so awesome about this is that if I move in there with, say, for example, the rectangle tool, tap the R key to get into the rectangle tool, it snaps to that line. So I can now create a column just like the other column, exactly one foot away from this edge which is fantastic. So then I know that, okay, one foot from this edge, it looks like this guy here is going to be one foot away from that edge as well. So all I have to do then 
is draw another line going this way and then I'll have ex the point where those two guides intersect I can, I'll have that point that's my starting point for my next column but in this case I can click on the edge but and I can stretch it out here as far as I want but I have nothing to snap to so what do I do in that case well as usual you notice that the length uh, box or the measurements box the dimensions box it takes many forms but the little box down in the right hand corner is saying how long uh, my tape measure tool is in other words how far apart my two points are so what I can do now is I can actually type a value into that box just like I can with the rectangle tool the line tool the movement tool everything I can type in my own custom value so I know that I want to be one foot away from that edge so all I have to do is type one and then apostrophe remember apostrophe makes whatever number comes before it a foot and then just hit enter or return and it draws that guide exactly where I wanted it to now as usual you have to kinda of give the tape measure tool some help where you have to start you have to click and then just start drawing in the direction you want it to go so like if I wanted it to go up for example I would need to start drawing the tape measure tool in the up direction and then type in the one foot but you know that's a pretty easy thing to do and it's pretty natural actually and now you'll notice that these two guides these two dotted lines intersect at this point right here and it actually if I hover over it it says intersection so what I can do now is I can use my rectangle tool click it snaps to that uh, those that point where the lines intersect and now I can stretch it out that's what I want and then I can enter in my own custom dimension in the dimensions box one apostrophe one foot comma by one foot enter and now I've got that now I can use the push pull tool which you remember is the tool that extrudes things into 3D so and the shortcut for the push pull tool is the letter P hover over that face right there see it kinda grays that out click once and up it goes now I know that the columns are all four feet but there's actually a nice little shortcut for this if I have the push pull tool going here and I just hover the push pull tool over this face over here it automatically snaps the push pull tool to that exact height you see the distance now says four feet the exact same as this guy over here because I'm hovering over its top face then click once confirm snapping is really very great in SketchUp it really is a big time saver now you might wonder why would I want to use uh, these guidelines why wouldn't I just want to use the tape measure tool as um, kind of a guideline for drawing an actual line with the line tool you know so like for example I could just come over here and say oh yes uh, you know one foot I could say oh one foot here and then just kind of find that point and extend an actual line across like that and that could be my guide if I wanted to but you know that's a solid line which means it actually is going to make a difference in the model and you'll notice for example if I click here that face and this face are now divided they're not a single face anymore because of that line is dividing them and that line is going to be kinda of difficult to get rid of not impossible to get rid of but kinda of difficult to get rid of once uh, our columns are drawn and it's going to keep affecting our model it's going to look strange say we wanted this to be one seamless floor and we wanted to make it a wood color for example there'd be this big line all the way through it not good so it's really best to use a guide I'm going to select that line delete it these these guides are fantastic for several reasons one they don't affect your model they don't split up the faces that they intersect with they don't split up the lines that they intersect with either it's like they don't exist they're like a ghostly guideline for you but the other great thing about them is that they're incredibly easy to remove once you're done so for one thing you can just click on a guideline and you see that makes it turn blue it's kinda hard to see but the dotted line is blue you can select it and then hit delete that'll get rid of that guideline but I'll just undo that there's a much better way typically I mean you know, you'll, be, you'll be surprised at how much you'll use guidelines so like for example I could for example just really quickly here draw a guideline there and a guideline there and oh I could even draw a guideline up in the air to give myself a guide for the height for all these things draw one like that 
go around here, draw another one like that. You can see you can actually use guidelines to snap to other guidelines, which is pretty weird. But see, look at this. You, you've got a ton of guidelines everywhere. It's looking like a spider's nest. And now you're gonna have to go through and delete every single one of them. That's a big pain, and you're you're gonna be surprised. You think, oh, I'll never have that many guidelines at one time. Just wait. <laughs> you will eventually have not only this many guidelines, but you'll have twice as many guidelines. You'll have hundreds of these guidelines everywhere if you're doing a very intricate and complex model. And going through and deleting them one by one is a huge chore. That's why there's a brilliant little shortcut. I am so glad they have this in SketchUp. All you have to do is go up to the edit, um, little edit in the uh, menu bar here, click on the edit menu, and then in this drop down here, you're looking for the delete guides command. And you could even assign a shortcut to this if you wanted to. Just click on delete guides and every single guideline in your model disappears this is huge because it, it is just such a great time saver and instantly your models nice and clean it looks like you did this from scratch without any help at all and it just in general is a really really cool function so as I said this model will be available on our website for you to download if you want to kinda of toy around maybe add the other two columns just kinda of go for it follow along try it yourself and that is pretty much it again tape measure tool the most useful tool in SketchUp as far as I'm concerned. So I hope you find the tape measure tool extremely useful in your modeling. I know I have every single time I create a new model, a new project in SketchUp, I constantly find myself hitting the T key for the tape measure tool, particularly for the guides function. Think about it and you'll realize how powerful those guides really are. So until next time, you can visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Remember that I'll be posting the lesson file from this episode uh, on there. Just look for the SketchUp a 3D Toolbox show notes, and you'll be able to download the lesson file. And if you have any questions or comments for me, just send me an email at harwoodpodcast at comcast.net. Until next time, I'll just say goodbye and good modeling. <laughs>